up, everyone? Welcome to Phoenix Rising. My name is K Short. This is my boy Chaos right here. I'm letting That's you. Me. The That's K's. Me. The K's are taking over. I'm letting y'all know real <laughs> quick. Background story between Chaos and I. We both met at Northern Arizona and at you. University. <laughs> yeah, and so. Back in 09, because I went there in 08, in 09, you know, I was looking out, scoping out the freshmen, looking at all the first years, you know, and I found myself in Allen Hall, and I saw this dude, I was like, duh. I don't know if that's a freshman. We in a freshman hall, but I don't know if that guy is a freshman yeah, is the question. Yeah, dorm rat. We were always in all the dorms. <laughs> he was. People. Regardless of us meeting 09, he was doing work throughout all of his college years, through the whole, like, honestly, I wouldn't have had as much as a good time if you weren't there, legitimately. Oh, man, thank you. I hope a lot of people feel that way. Legitimately. This dude has been putting so much work, and so, so much work into the industry. He's been in it for so long. He's been in it for over 10, almost 10 years now. But yeah, so he's been putting in work at NAU, and I was like, you know what? I'm so happy that after college, after college, he came out here before me, and I ended up reaching out to him because I knew that he knew what he was doing. And so yeah, now, back to Phoenix, man, back, back to, the, to the big bad birds. Mm -hmm, exactly. So I'm so happy to sit down with him. This interview, he, you were actually see. I'm telling you, there's so much history between us. I met him almost a year ago, asking him, "Yo, like I have this idea to be interviewing the creatives of Phoenix." And da -da 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 -da. yeah, exactly. And he even Sat told down, me. Chopped it up. <clears throat> He even told me, he's like, yo, like somebody has a similar idea to that. If you don't get on it, someone else go do it. But he actually, we were talking about his story, getting to know him and stuff like that. And he was doing, giving me my first Phoenix Rising interview without even knowing it. And no so, camera was on no camera, on. nothing. And so now a year later, here we are. Uh oh. We get in the story, y'all. We get in the story. And I'm telling you, this is the most the exclusive. exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chaos, they know enough about us. They just know that we in the same in the same area doing big things. So let's just talk about you now. Go ahead, give me where you were born and raised in the background story. Yeah, man. All right. I was born in L.A., mm -hmm. but uh, raised out here in AZ, Glendale, and then uh, went out to Buckeye for high school mm -hmm. to stay out of trouble. That's kind of where everything started. Mm -hmm. You know, halfway through when I turned 16, got my first little job. Really the only job I've ever had. Did construction for a summer with Pops, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Got enough money to... Uh, Get some DJ gear and never look back. Never look. But when did you realize you had a passion for music and that you wanted to be a DJ? Like, what was going on freshman and sophomore year? Uh, you know, I was new into high school. Everybody's just figuring out what they're doing. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody thought I was gonna play sports. I thought I was gonna play sports, but that just didn't happen. <laughs> I just didn't. I wasn't messing with it. You know what I mean? I don't know. The first time, like, when I was actually able to get the money to uh, to get something like an investment, you know, I just never looked back. You know, we had to just keep pushing from there, keep growing, doing the same things. But why DJ? The party scene was big. I've I always wanted to be into DJ. We had record players all over the house when I was a kid. I used to always scratch up everything and make everybody mad. Uh, it just happened. I was just on eBay. I was just like, what's next? That's what it was, you know what I mean? So anything big happened in high school? Just house parties. We were throwing massive house parties all the time. In Buckeye, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. See, my, it was weird going to high school because I live out there like farmland. You know, we got the farmers, but it, a lot of people from the Bay. Oh. So it was very hyphy. Oh. It was hyphy farmland. So it was mm. crazy. So we were getting it. You know, the house party scene was big. And then that's where it, that's just where it started. Me and the team, me and my boy uh, Ramon. I met my boy Ramon in high school. Mm, right hand, literally. Yeah, so my right hand man. There's not one without the other. <laughs> yeah, man. And then from there, so then you graduated. Thank goodness you graduated, right? Yeah, you know, graduated high school. And then you came up to NAU. Well, where did that decision come from? See, it, all my life I didn't know I was gonna go to college. You know, like that's not something you know. And then it was just time, like, oh, it's time to go. Mm -hmm. Ramon, you know. My best friend at the time, still now, but you know, he was like, I gotta be on, I'm gonna be on the track team at NAU, mm -hmm. so just roll with me up there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, enough said. It was like, where are we gonna go take over next? Yep. That's what we were saying at the time, and we didn't even know it was gonna happen, but. Wow. Give yeah. a little shout out to Ramon. So. Yeah. Shout out to RC Cola. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we get to college, and then what happens? As soon as we get up there, big key player in everything is Miss Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Lydia. Love you. <laughs> you know, met her. Um, orientation me and Ramon you know we went up there she was in charge of guiding the, the young ones you know what I mean I told her I remember her laughing at me too me and Ramon so I was like yo I'm about to come out here I'm a DJ hey. uh, we be killing it you uh -huh. know and uh, we're gonna take over and she was like haha whatever I'll just Ooh. take you to the party and introduce you to the people who are doing it already you oh, know what I mean oh uh-huh and uh, that's how it started we met um, all the local promoters through her and then that's when we started de we, we got started DJing from mm -hmm. there. Just started DJing for the local promoters, making a name for ourselves, meeting people, getting out there. Uh, that's when I started designing too, because uh, we needed somebody to make flyers. Yeah. So then I, I picked up another trade, 